Thank you very much for joining me. I'm Brian Shields. I want to get to the possibility of flooding, watching that next tropical wave moving in as expected. Again, the forecast right on track from what we saw yesterday, what I'm seeing today, and here's what's going on on the broad picture. There's been some severe weather. Southeast United States blob offshore of the Carolinas not developing. No development expected as far as tropical things on the Atlantic side, the Atlantic basin, but we're getting those stronger tropical waves. So I want to break it down for you where we're going to see the flooding in and that new surge of moisture, that new surge of rain that'll pop up in the Western Caribbean. So we've got one spot here near Trinidad and Tobago, and then some heavy rain that will build near Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, and try to get a little closer to Jamaica and Belize. But again, that next tropical wave is moving in. A higher concern for flooding Southeastern Caribbean because of that rain that we've had over the last couple days. Now, here's the open waters of the Atlantic. As I mentioned, nothing organized. And again, watching these tropical waves, we have one moving in now, and on the back side of the tropical waves. That's where you have the rain. That's why that rain is going to increase further. We've got one wave here, another one here, another one coming off the coast of Africa. And unlike those tropical waves from a couple weeks ago, these are hanging together. Again, not turning into tropical storms, but there's more in the way of those tropical downpours that are with them. Now, here's a different story on the eastern Pacific side. Exactly what I was telling you yesterday and what we were talking about, how there would be some development or at least some signs of development on the eastern Pacific side. And there are some indications this may try to develop a little bit as it continues to pull out in the open waters of the Atlantic. And even the National Hurricane Center highlighting this area saying, hey, it's a spot we're watching. As of now, a low chance of development, but it is a sign that things are getting more active on the eastern, uh, eastern in the eastern Pacific side. And again, even on the Atlantic side, while we're not seeing a tropical storm or hurricane, we are seeing those stronger tropical waves. So let me show you again, two big spots to watch, one here and one right here. This is today, later this afternoon. So you can pick a spot on the map where you are. So you can plan ahead. The green, that is the rain, or at least the chance of rain. Again, spotty shower, northeastern uh, Caribbean, not a whole lot, again, for Antigua and Barbuda back through Anguilla, St. Kitts and Nevis, British Virgin Islands, U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico. We are so hot, I know. Haiti, Dominican Republic, same thing. Again, just a spotty shower storm. Let me take you out on time. This is tomorrow. Again, today is that in-between day. And then tomorrow, we're going to be dealing with that flooding threat starting to increase. See that rain build in Costa Rica, Panama? We're going to see some flooding in spots here. And then watching this carefully, St. Lucia, Barbados, South, through Guyana, Trinidad, and Tobago. There's that next surge of rain, what we were talking about yesterday. That's going to start to work our way. And again, because we just had some rain, it doesn't take much more to have more of that street flooding. We saw all around Trinidad and Tobago, well, not all around, but again, mainly on the uh, south side. But we saw it. We saw those scenes, again, watching that flooding, still dealing with the elevated levels now. Now, this is by Thursday, Thursday afternoon. Not organized, but there's that next batch rolling in. Thursday, Trinidad and Tobago, the rain chance picks up. And then look at this, lifting up toward Honduras. Not organized, but there is a small chance that this area here could develop. I've been highlighting that for about two weeks now. There's a brief chance of a spin-up. Now, this is by Friday. By Friday, more of that rain will have moved in. Northern Venezuela, Guyana. Hopefully, we get some spotty showers elsewhere in the Eastern Caribbean. But again, watching near uh, Grenada and uh, Trinidad and Tobago, down through Guyana, and parts of Suriname for that higher flooding threat. And then watching this, Northern Colombia, of course, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. Once again, we're in between staying on the hot side and staying on the too dry side. But look how this moisture builds on Friday. And then in this area, there is a chance that there could be a brief spin-up. Can't rule out a brief spin-up of a tropical depression, tropical storm. Not seeing anything super crazy. The rain either way, regardless of how that pans out, is the issue with the flooding. But in this area right here, as that rain builds, there could be something trying to form here at least briefly before it tries to kick in. And then Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Belize, with all this rain building here, I'll be watching to see how close it gets, especially as we get into Friday and Saturday. I know Belize, we need to get some of the rain. We're going to be right on the edge of it. It's going to be a close call. I'm watching. But again, I am watching this spot for that chance of some development. Here's why. Not only do we have a lot of rain building here, but the water temperature is pretty crazy. 29 to 30 degrees plus in some spots at Celsius. We're talking over 90 degrees Fahrenheit. And the depth of that warm water is 
substantial. That's called the heat content. So it's deep all the way down. So even as that blob sits there and churns up the water, it just churns up more uh, very, very uh, warm water that it can feed off of. Now, that's uh, water temps are one piece of the puzzle. Upper level winds aren't super favorable for development, which is a good thing. But again, there could be a quick spin up here, but I wanted to let you know about that uh, in advance. Uh, but either way, the rain is the issue with that chance of flooding. Trinidad and Tobago, all the way back through Honduras and Nicaragua. And you see, let me break this down as far as that rain is concerned. Again, you can see some spots just a passing shower, but Trinidad and Tobago, three day total. So this takes us through today. This takes us through tomorrow and then through Thursday night, we'll have some spots again getting uh, upwards of 75 millimeters, but then there's going to be more rain as we work our way into Friday. Spotty Cuba, Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, British uh, Virgin Islands. Now, this is the spot though we could see more flooding even down through parts of Guyana as this next tropical wave moves in all the way through the end of the week through Friday, watching out for some spots, not all, but some spots could get about 50 millimeters to 100 millimeters of rain. We've had the rain the last couple of days. We've had the flooding. So clearly, if you happen to get this, that is going to add on to the flooding issues. And we had most of the rain against Southern Tier. So if we add on to that right there, we're going to get more flooding in some locations. So again, letting you have that kind of advanced notice of that. Now back here, this again through Thursday night, heavier rain could be in parts of Honduras, more so Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. We're going to see intense flooding, higher terrain in parts of Central America. Uh, thinking of you over toward the streams, the river crossings, please use extra caution. There's going to be some runoff, some mud slides, landslides are going to be a potential here. We're going to have over 100 millimeters of rain in some spots, even back through northern uh, Colombia. So Panama, Costa Rica, Nicaragua in particular, uh, early heads up, share this information. Mudslides, landslides, whatever you want to call them, will be a potential here. And then it will be a wait and see Friday into Saturday how much of this moisture will be lifting up to the north. Now, let me get to kind of a different scenario here, a different story with the dust. On top of that, we have some dust rolling in. So Here's Florida, for example, southeastern United States, up through New England and my friends in eastern Canada. As expected, this next surge of dust. I was talking about this, I think it was like four or five videos with you, how we'd get this dust. This is midweek, Wednesday into Thursday. This here, this yellow shading, that new surge of dust will move in. And then you see it spreading across the Caribbean and across the southern Bahamas and Turks and Caicos. Some of this may get caught up in an old front and even swing back toward Bermuda. So a lot of dust moving in midweek, starting tomorrow in the Eastern Caribbean, and then throughout the end of the week into the weekend. So we've got those two areas of rain, and then we have that surge of dust that will be moving in. So let me get to some of the forecasts for you. Again, Guyana, rain chance 70% today, 80% tomorrow. It just stays high. It'll stay high through the end of the week. Thursday into Friday, behind that tropical wave, more of that moisture around and that chance of flooding. And you see that chance of rain, Trinidad and Tobago picks up tomorrow into Thursday. It's not 100% because we're not looking at all day rain. And again, it'll favor some spots versus others, mainly southern zones, just kind of a wait and see to see how some of that rain kind of filters in. But either way, the elevated chance of rain, I'll give you that early heads up on that flood potential, Trinidad and Tobago, St. Vincent and the Grenadines with that tropical wave moving in. That should increase the chance of rain tomorrow and Thursday, a 40% chance, and even a 40 to 50% chance back through Grenada. St. Lucia, a 50% chance of rain today. We've got a few of those passing showers, not all day rain, obviously, but some passing showers, 30% chance tomorrow. And again, as we work our way into Thursday, Dominica holding steady at about that 30% chance with that easterly flow. Most of the rain's down to the south, but with that easterly flow, we'll get a passing shower. St. Martin, a 20 to 30% chance of a shower over toward a Saba, passing variety, Aruba, again, in between systems. Even Curacao and Bonaire, the forecast pretty similar, 10, 20, 30% chance of rain, and that's it. Jamaica, I'm gonna keep an eye on us by the end of the week. Remember that moisture that's building uh, near Honduras. We'll see how close it gets Friday and Saturday, and also see if anything tries to spin up. So Belize, the rain chance, I've got it up a little higher on Thursday, 
trying to be optimistic, but about a 40% chance. And again, a wait and see Thursday and a Friday, how much of that moisture will be trying to filter in. All right, we're halfway through the month now. So we're halfway through the first month of the hurricane season. Things are going to speak, uh, pick up. Usually in July, you get a couple name systems out there and we're getting closer to July. And then of course, August, September and October, that's the peak of the season and we get a ton of action out there, but we don't know where they're going to go. Hopefully nothing hits the land. A wait and see on that. I'll track it storm by storm for you. All right, so clearly on the uh, busy side, we've got that new tropical wave moving in. And then on the flip side of that, in the Western Caribbean, that moisture is going to build and it may even try to spin up into a system at least briefly. And then that new surge of dust that I showed you, that will be arriving. So flooding increasing uh, later this week. Today, the in-between day. So the heads up, Southeastern Caribbean, parts of the Western Caribbean, that flood chance is going to get higher. And yes, those heat advisories continue for some of us. I'm thinking of you, if you're dealing with some of the extreme heat. We've been seeing it anywhere from Puerto Rico, uh, back through the Virgin Islands, all the way up through Florida with that extreme heat. And again, through parts of the United States, that is tough. I know I have to highlight those areas of rain, but I am thinking of you if you're dealing with just that dry weather and that heat. So thank you for being part of this channel. Please leave your comments what the weather is, where you are. Got a lot of action coming our way. I will keep you posted. Have a good day ahead.